Art Curator is a sample app built with the Office 365 APIs that demonstrates how to solve a real-life problem. This app shows an attachment-first view of your inbox, and we built it on four different platforms, iOS, Android, Windows Phone, and the web in the form of an Angular app. I'll talk about the Angular version. All the code for all the versions is available on GitHub. After you download from there, the next step is to register an app with Azure Active Directory. Because this app only uses the Outlook APIs, you can use this awesome app registration tool on dev.outlook.com as long as you have an Office 365 account. I'm already logged in with the account I'll be using the demo. The first thing we need to do is specify some details about the app. The app name is the name that will be displayed to your user when they're authorizing for the first time. So we'll put Art Curator. The next thing to do is specify the application's type. Since this is an Angular application and Angular apps are single page apps, also known as SPAs, we'll select that option. The redirect URI is where Azure Active Directory returns the access token back to your app after a user authenticates. Art Creator uses localhost 8080, so we'll specify that with the IP address of localhost and the port number and move on. The home page URL is just a URL your users can go to learn more about your application. We don't have one, so we'll give it a fake one, artcreator.com. The next step is to choose APIs that we want access to. Art Curator uses two permissions from the mail API. First, it uses the read and write mail permission. This allows us to read emails from Outlook, as well as mark them as read or delete them. And we also use the send mail permission, so we can send mail as the signed in user. Finally, we click register app, which outputs a nice client ID that we could use in our code. So we'll copy that and head over to the actual application code. To get Art Creator up and running, you need to open up the app.js file located in the app slash scripts directory and replace a couple values. First, replace the your tenants placeholder with the tenant you're using. In my case, that's Pat saw demo five. And also replace the client ID with the value we got from the dev.outlook.com tool. So we'll copy that and put it here. Okay, there we go. So we'll save that and move on to start the development server. Uh, using node, I'll type in node server, which is the name of the file. Start that, and there you go. The server is listening on port 8080. So we'll head over to IE and visit the port. So here we are, here's our curator. Currently there's no user signed in. So we'll use the connect button on the navigation bar to connect to R65. Because I'm already logged in, I don't need to sign in again. And here we go is the app authorization page. And you can see the details we specified on the dev.alloc.com app registration tool. You can see the app name we specified and as well as the permissions that we requested. So we'll accept and we'll be redirected back to the application with the access token and our creator will do its thing. So there you go. It reached out to outlook.com to reach out to Outlook and receive some emails. Uh, these are some sample data, some sample emails with sample images that you get when you download the code from GitHub. And each one of these images represents an email in your inbox. So we'll click this robot, for example. You can see when this email was sent. You can see who sent it, the subject, and the body. And here you're, you can also like or dislike it, which will mark it as read, send a response, which is all configurable in the application settings. And just to compare it to what the traditional view would look like, this is the same folder with the same emails on outlook.com. And you can see that it's really not quite a what you want to do. It's not quite efficient for quickly looking at all these images and kind of triaging what you like. You have to open up each email and open up the attachment and then respond each individually. Instead, you could just use Art Creator to view them all at once and quickly like and dislike photos as you see fit. So there it is. That's Art Creator.